there, stamping friends. It's Jackie Ballhuis from Clomp and Stampers. I've got such a cute card to share with you, and we're going to use stamps in maybe a little bit different way than they're intended. So I can't wait to share this with you. And I also have lots of little tips for quick and easy coloring with Stampin' Blends, the alcohol markers. So let's just dive right into today's card. Let's flip the camera down and get started. So the stamp set I'm using today is called Supremely Awesome, and it is so darn cute. And we're gonna make one card using some of these stamps. We're gonna bring in a couple other because I have a special surprise for you. And then I have three other cards to share with you. So you're gonna get four different card ideas today. Now we're also gonna color this image with our Stampin' Blends. It is my absolute favorite way to color. Um, you can use other means, whatever works for you, but they, I just, I like the blends. Um, and I know there's some people that get super artistic with them. If you're you know, more artistic or you really like to color, you can do amazing things. Well, I am all about quick and easy and I don't consider myself an artist. So what I do is actually pretty simple. So let's go ahead and we're just gonna color our little guy here and we're gonna start and we've got the Granny Apple Green. Now, if you're not familiar with the Stampin' Blends, they do come in a light and a dark. They come as a pair and I like the big spots I color in with that brush tip, but then I switch to the bullet end here. I like to color starting with the light. Now there's no right or wrong. Um, different people like different ways. And so I like to start with that light. And then I come in here with my dark and I'm gonna do some shading. So I usually just go to the left side, add a little bit of dark like that, and then down along the bottom, then come back with the light. And you can see how I'm just doing these little circles to kind of blend that in. And then we're gonna come all the way over. You can just keep layering and layering your color. Um, and what happens when this dries, the alcohol versus a regular water-based marker, you don't get all the brush marks. And that's what I like about these. You just kind of get some really nice coloring. Now for our little guy here, we're gonna go ahead and just use the dark on the band to his apron, just for some contrast there. Okay, so there's the apron. Now make sure when you're using blends, when you put the top on, you hear that snap. Push them down on your table, push hard, it'll snap, then you know they're locked on there. Okay, then, I don't even know, this is one of the neutral tones, um, SU800. There's several different skin tone ones. Um, I only have a couple of them and I just grabbed one. So I'm not gonna use like two different colors, like a light and a dark. But I will, after I color it in, I'm just gonna layer on a little bit of color because it will make it darker, darker and give you some kind of texture. So a little bit more on the left side of that. And then his face is pretty big here. So let's flip over to this side. Um, I only use this if it's a big space because it's, um, I have a harder time controlling it. So I really like that bullet tip better. So let's color in his face. Okay, we put a little, layer some down there, kind of up and around, give them a little dimension. Okay, so there's our face on that. So let's snap those on. Now a little tip, when you're stamping images that have solid black, sometimes it doesn't appear solid, solid. You know, your stamp might not have been inked up perfect. Um, so I like to just take my black one. This is the dark of the black and I'm just adding some color right over that black. So then it looks like it stamped much darker. Fill that in a little bit. We can put some down here on his shoes if you want them super black. Okay, so next we have his pizza. Now, because I have a special surprise here, you're gonna have to just hang tight a second. I'm gonna color this all in with gray. So this, or what do I have here? Light smoky gray. Now, all of the colors that I'm using, as well as um, pictures of all four cards and all the supplies will be over on my website. So there'll be a link in the video description. You can follow that over to the blog post and that will give you all that information. Now put all the measurements. So if you'd like to make these cards, copy them, just like what I'm sharing today, feel free to grab all those measurements. And then if you'd like to order any of these products, um, you can order right there as well. So I would love to be your Stamp It Up demonstrator. Okay, so we've colored in our ugly pizza. Okay, let's snap these on. 
And then what we're going to do is, I'm gonna give the surprise away here in just a second. I have another stamp we're going to use and it is, ta-da, a cupcake. So I bet you can guess what I'm gonna do. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and what do we have here? Tah Tahitian Tide, I think. And let's color our cupcake here. So we're gonna color in our base. You know what's fun about like the cupcakes or, or even our little chef there? You can do any color. So use whatever you have, um, grab your favorite colors. And again with this, we're gonna kind of go dark around the edges. That'll give it a little bit of dimension. Okay, let's see. Make sure you get the right tops on. And then for our frosting here, we've got crumb cake. So we don't want it a super dark chocolate, but this will be just that really nice chocolate. You getting hungry yet? Um, so then what we can do is come in on our sides, maybe try to make it look like it's swirled on there a bit. One of those, you know, fancy dancy cupcakes. Okay, so that's all colored. Let's do this. Now for our card, because these don't have dyes, we're gonna use our scissors and we're gonna fussy cut these images. Now I cheated a little bit. Magic of TV, I already did them. So there we go, ta-da! And I think we're about ready to build our card here. So I have a piece of basic white, and before we put it together, I'm gonna just take some crumb cake, and I have a speckle stamp. This is out of the Layering Leaves stamp set. Um, I use this one actually quite a bit. And all I'm gonna do is just kind of lightly, okay, I don't wanna like oh, oops, overkill here, but kind of put a background on there. Cause otherwise, as I was putting this card together, I'm like, ooh, that's just too white. Let's see, so he's gonna go on there like so. So see how it just adds a, a little bit to help make him pop. Our chef needs a name, what should we name him? You can pop a name in the comments. Let's see how many different creative names we can get for our chef, what we should call him. So let's peel these off. Um, there we go. We're gonna stick our little chef right there. I'm gonna bring him kind of down towards the bottom. And now for our surprise, which I'm sure you figured out by now, instead of holding pizza, we're going to hold a cupcake because when I put it on there, you would never know that that was intent that he was holding a pizza because we covered them all great. So let's go ahead, grab our adhesive and we're going to layer a couple of pieces together here. Stick that on there. Now we do need the words happy birthday for this. So I think what we're going to do is, let's see if I grab another piece of scrap here. We can turn it this way. And I have the stamp, it's just happy birthday. And it is out of the artistically inked. Now remember, I'll have all these listed over on the website for you. But this is just a really nice birthday. I use this happy birthday quite often when I want kind of that long skinny. And then when I do long skinny greetings, I like to just stamp them on scrap. And then I take my paper trimmer and I trim them down. So when you go over to the website, remember I said I'll have all the measurements? I won't have these measurements because it's gonna depend on what stamp you use for happy birthday and how tight you cut it down. So I like to cut them pretty tight, okay? So it really pops there. So let's put a couple dimensionals. I think that's thin enough. Now for this, I wanna make sure that I put them in the middle, like so because I'm gonna pop, put it on top of him. Let's see, where do we want to? Let's put it down here, because we still wanna kind of see his, we wanna see his feet, we wanna see that apron after we took all that time coloring up. So there's that. And then to finish our card, and then we can bring in the other three that I have to share with you. Um, I think these images are just, they're fun, they're cute, they're different. It'd make the perfect card for anybody, male, female, young and old. 
Um, I mean, anyone that gets this card, I'm sure, is going to put a smile on their face. I mean, how can you not smile when, when you look at him? He's so cute. Let's stick him down. Remember, leave a comment. What should we name him? Let's come up with a, a fun chef name. Okay, there we go. Oh, didn't that turn out so cute? Now let me bring in the other ones to show you. Okay, so there's the one that we just made. Now here's my pizza version. So I made these cards all very similar with the layers and using the designer series paper back there. You can see those crumb cake speckles. And then that one, I cut my layers a little bit smaller to accommodate this, but I thought, you've got a pizza my heart. And then of course we have to have a deluxe combo. So there is that one. So super fun stamp set. And I kind of brought in, you know, a different greeting and the cupcake there. But otherwise, everything's part of that supremely awesome. And they're just all colored with Stampin' Blends. So I hope you enjoyed this video, the tips that I shared, and that these cards put a smile on your face like they do mine. So make sure to check out that blog post for all the details and measurements and supplies for all of them. We'll be stamping again real soon. Have a stamp happy day.